Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you a quick tutorial on how to screenshot on your Google Pixel 4a. Now this is that brand new phone from Google that's that $350 price tag. Extremely good. I like it a lot. But this is exactly how to screenshot. Okay, so as you can see, you have that power button on the right side. You have the power button and the volume down button right here. Hopefully you can see it. If not, look on the side right side of your phone. You should be able to see that power button and the volume down button. So all you need to do is hold down the power button and the volume down button at the exact same time until you hear a click. Now clicking on them just once usually doesn't do it, so you kind of have to hold it down for a second and wait for it to register. As you can see, it didn't work. So I'm gonna try it again, hold it down until it screenshots. And as you can see, we finally got a screenshot. So again, like I said, sometimes it works when you just click on it and let it go, but most of the time I have to hold it down until it screenshots. Again, that's the power button and the volume down button at the same time, hold it down for a second or two until it fully screenshots like you, like you saw. And it should just have that little, little, you know, pop up like that. So once you do that, you can actually go click up here and do whatever you want to with the image, whether you want to upload it, you want to send it to whoever you have that capability. We also have some editing capabilities that I'll show you right now. So, so what you can do is you can see the little setting bar down here is the second option. You can go and click on it and you do have some capability of editing it, which is really cool. So you can crop it down if you want to, before you send it. So you can crop it down to whatever you want to, which is really cool. I can go and reset it back to whatever it was and click done. You can also filter it. So there's a couple of different filtering options too, which I think is really, really big. It's really not too important for a screenshot, but if you're screenshotting an image or something, sometimes putting a filter on is really cool. You can also manually edit the light. You can manually edit the color. You can manually edit the pop, whatever that is. So you have those different type of capabilities right there. Like I said, you can crop it down if you want to. This last option, I'm not really too sure. Oh, I can draw on it too. So if you need to highlight something like, oh, click, you know, highlight this or whatever, you have that capability there. I go and click done. And this last little option is, you know, just extensions. I guess I can do the crop document extension if I have more than I can do it, but that's really pretty much the process. Just hold down the power button and the volume down button at the same time, hold it down for a second or two until the screenshots, and then just go from there. So as you can see, I probably have like four or five screenshots of this stuff just in my photo gallery, which is gonna be really funny, but that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.